What is going on, everybody? It has finally arrived. The Vanquish VS410 Origin is finally here. UPS man just dropped it off. We're going to take a quick look, see what's inside the box. Let me break the seals. Bumpers, sliders, machine aluminum, very well packaged, curry axles, very nice. Stamp steel frame rails, high clear, high clearance rails. Very well done, very well packaged. Slide this out of the way. All right, inside we have the body. Uh, very reminiscent of a International Scout. Everything's already laser cut. Uh, you don't have to drill holes, cut anything. It's all been done with a laser. Uh, even the holes where the windshield wipers mount. Uh, very nice looking body. Very, very heavy all the way around. There's some bodies you get towards the bottom, it gets a little thin. This one seems to be pretty heavy all the way around. Very nice. Oh, you've got uh, front and rear inner fenders. Uh, also, all laser cut. It's probably kind of hard to see those on a video, but a little bit of tire. Uh, phones are very firm, but tires. Uh, very reminiscent of like a super swamper type tire. Uh, very sticky. For those, of course. Very well packaged. Alright, everything is labeled. Uh, these appear to be yeah, here's your grill, steering wheel, all your body pieces, headlight bezels, windshield wipers. Uh, Beadlock wheels. Now these are plastic wheels, but they are beadlock. Uh, these are the incision wheels. Aluminum. B lock rings. Very nice. Uh, body posts, body mounts, transmission mount, and some of the other plastics, chassis parts. I believe the plastic is molded. I don't think it's 3D printed, but we'll be able to tell closer when we unpackage it. Incision shocks uh, pre assembled. They do have to be filled with oil, I believe. We'll know more once we get into the instructions. Here are your transmission gears, drive shafts, incision steel gears. Internals for the axles, uh, link ends. All the bags are labeled. Here's your electronics tray, battery tray. 
which is aluminum. Very nice. Back here we got uh, links, uh, other internals for the for the axles, uh, aluminum wheel hexes. Uh, there's your spur gear, spur gear guard, uh, skid plate parts. Here is your interior piece. This has also been laser cut, uh, separate dashboard. Very nice. Uh, down here in the bottom. This is a little more expensive than a lot of them on the market, excuse me. Uh, but everything is already upgraded. Machine aluminum axles, motor plates all machined. Uh, here's a sticker sheet. Uh, a lot of good detail, tailgate piece. Uh, a lot of sponsor, rccrawler.com, Scale Builders Guild, Jury, Rigid, Knight Customs. Uh, my understanding is Knight Customs already has Parts for this on Shapeway to help detail the interior. I think it's got a roll cage, inner door panels, a few other little parts like that. Uh, interior decals, dashboard. And let's pop the instruction manual open. And take a look at this real quick. Tell you what tools you need. Okay, very nice, very similar to a to an axial instruction sheet. Uh, doesn't doesn't show your parts and actual size on the sides of it. But that's okay. It tells you the size. M tube, uh, eight millimeter. You know, gives you that. Very nice. Very well done. Very easy to read. Pretty straightforward. Does show you the assembly for the shocks. Maybe they're not fully assembled. Uh, my understanding was the only thing you had to do was fill them with oil, but we'll see. Uh, probably won't add anything to this kit. There's not really anything to add other than little details here and there. Maybe aluminum wheels. But very well done. Here's your interior panel, which is, it's all the body panels, inner fenders, interior panels, all laser cut. You don't have to do any trimming. All you have to do is paint it. Got a radiator behind the grill. It's got a hard plastic grill. Uh, very nice looking vehicle. Uh, spare parts list on the back. Uh, even has a uh, 32 pitch gearing chart, which come in handy if you're Overall, very nice kit. Uh, like I said, more expensive than, than say like an axial or something like that kit. Uh, but this one's fully upgraded. Aluminum axles, you know, aluminum motor plate, aluminum bumpers. So, uh, my opinion, worth it. I like Vanquish parts. I've, all, I've never had a problem with any good quality. So, uh, can't wait to get this one going. Uh, probably put a teaking system in it, so uh, we'll get to it, get it put together, get it on a trail. This one probably be more of a trail truck than a crawler, but maybe a little bit of both, but we'll see. We'll get there. Uh, until next time, later.